Hi, today's date is the 23rd of uh, May 2018. Here is a picture I took of near Shag Point in uh, north of Palmerston of New Zealand, the South Island, on the 15th of May. So that's the picture for today. So this is the picture that Heather likes the most. So anyway, let's get on with the chess game. This is a bullet game of chess. One minute is all we've got for all our moves. And I'm not going to tell you my rating or my opponent's rating because it's not very good. And this is uh, New Zealand, of course, unofficially white. And black is Canada. 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 Can I say it? Anyway, here we go. And I'm finding to keep things uh, in one minute chess um, tight moves. Don't make big long stretchy moves. Make tight moves if you can. And captures are hard to do because you have to grab two things even though it's only with the, the mouse from the, um, the actual Android phone I've got. The smartphone. The smartphone, the smartphone, and the smart TV. So this is shaping up, isn't it, to be a King's Indian defence that I'm playing as white. But I learnt about 1979 that you can still move the bishop somewhere, other than to the Fiancito square G2. I play it to B5. And so this makes black think all of a sudden because they might be accustomed to um, g3 etc and bishop g2 castles blah 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 so i'm quite enjoying one minute chess but i'm not very good at it a6 okay let's just go back here just bishop g4 now i just want to keep it simple i don't want to a knight lurching into d4 threat possibility because it might just tangle me up a wee bit so c3 to prevent the same h6 bishop c2 knight a5 knight f1 just the typical maneuver of the knight to the king side from the queen side so if you see this this is the importance of central pieces especially knights and that sort of thing there's a knight on the queen side straight away goes to the king side see it's crossed over the sort of middle line between the queen's encountered side which is called that because of the queen on these squares and now it's going to the king side whereas if it's on a3 or a1 it takes um, at least two leaps to get there but it can't in this case from here move to the king side in two leaps because the bishop's in the way but if the bishop's not in the way it takes one two to even get there whereas here it would be one two three moves or so forth to get there but this move here is from the queen side to the king side which is what Nimzovich speaks about b5 h3 bishop h5 knight g3 just being a pester now knight h4 can white lose a pawn here probably um after 94 new variation the queen is attacking the knight of course and i'm not even sure without going into detail but this would probably be my move not this even though it defends the knight it leaves my queen on free to the bishop on g6 but this here i would play here probably knight takes and now i have to take this and so the beauty of this all is is that i have this move here and so we've still got status quo okay so um i i thought that during the game even though it is only one minute chess bullet um i thought that here uh 
maybe 94 was okay for black, but I was incorrect. Oh, am I going to lose a pawn here? Probably. Now best here, obviously I'm attacking the knight on b2. Best here would probably be this move. The only thing is, new variation, the only thing is, is that this attacks the knight, but this does all right for black. They actually get away with the pawn, as one would appreciate Rook takes d8 and knight e2 is check, and thereby white wins not. Black wins in exchange a rook for a knight. And both queens are swapped off. But here black played queen d3, so I took the knight on b2 of course. Why not? And so here is a mistake. So what does black miss by rook a d8? Is a wee small exercise just to see a little bit into the position but not too much is rook a d1 and now the queen has no exit that's satisfactory without losing itself to a rook also so the queen takes the rook rook takes rook takes bishop takes and now i play probably the only strategical move of the whole game, king h2. Now, this is just because I don't want to do anything yet, and I'm just wanting to um, maybe gain time or whatever, and I played bishop d5, and that was the end of the game. My opponent lost on time, I believe, and um, so that was the end of this encounter in this game and this session. I hope you enjoyed it. So, as previously mentioned, I believe, it is the 23rd of May 2018. Thank you for visiting my Chess YouTube channel. And I hope you get great um, enjoyment out of it, at least. And all sorts of other words like that. Um, from watching this on my channel. And that no matter what your strength is. It helps with your game one way or the other. Thank you very much. Bye bye. So I'll leave this on for two seconds. So that's the beach line, coastline of the east coast of New Zealand, South Island, north of Palmerston by about 30 kilometres, 20 kilometres. See you next time on The Muppet Show. David and Wigan are from Christchurch coming to you over and out. Zanyo Malt.